Now here the question is for non-negative integers n, we are given this function f n in terms of summation and sign. Then we need to find which of the following options is or are correct. Now for this, what we'll do is we'll let pi upon n plus 2 as some constant, say theta. So we'll actually write this as f n is this summation k varies from 0 to n sine k plus 1 theta into sine k plus 2 theta whole divided by this summation k varies from 0 to n sine square k plus 1 theta. Now we will multiply and divide it with 2. Now this is 2 sine a sine b and we know that 2 sine a sine b is cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. So it will be this summation k varies from 0 to n and cos a minus b. So it will be k plus 2 k plus 2 theta minus k plus 1 theta will be simply cos theta minus this summation k varies from 0 to n and it will be cos a plus b and that will be 2k plus 3 into theta and the denominator will be this summation k varies from 0 to n and 1 minus cos 2 theta so it will be cos 2 into k plus 1 theta. Now since theta is independent of k this summation cos theta is summation of constant so it will be this n plus 1 into cos theta so we can write fn as n plus 1 cos theta minus this summation k varies from 0 to n cos 2k plus 3 theta upon this summation 1 will also be n plus 1 minus this summation k varies from 0 to n cos 2 into k plus 1 theta. Now first we will simplify these two summations. Now this first summation is summation k varies from 0 to n cos 2k plus 3 theta. Now if we put k as 0 so it will be this cos 3 theta cos 5 theta cos 7 theta up to cos 2n plus 3 theta where angles are in AP. Now in this case value of alpha is 3 theta and value of beta is 2 theta. That's your common difference. We know that some of the series is sine n beta by 2. n beta by 2 will be number of terms is n plus 1 n beta by 2 is theta upon sine beta by 2 which is sin theta into cos alpha plus so which is 3 theta plus n minus 1 which in this case is the n into beta by 2 which is theta. So it will be this sin n plus 1 theta into cos n plus 3 theta whole divided by sin theta and if we look at this second series which is this summation k varies from 0 to n cos 2k plus 1 theta will be this cos 2 theta plus cos 4 theta and in this case alpha equals beta equals 2 theta number of terms is n plus 1 and again angles are in AP. So we can write this as sin n beta by 2 so it will be this sin n plus 1 theta upon sin theta into cos a plus n minus 1 into theta so it will be this sin n plus 1 theta into cos n plus 2 theta whole divided by 
sin theta. So now we have z for both the summations. So we can write this function f n as f n as n plus one cos theta minus this sine n plus one theta cos n plus three theta upon sine theta divided by n plus one minus sine n plus one theta into cos n plus two theta upon sine theta. Now we have taken pi upon n plus two as theta, so we can write n plus one theta as pi minus theta. So sine n plus 1 theta will be sin theta and n plus 2 theta will be simply pi. So sin n plus 1 theta and sin theta will cancel. From here we we'll get this as n plus 1 cos theta minus cos. Now n plus 2 theta is pi, so it will be this pi plus theta and here will be this n plus 1 minus cos pi. Now cos pi plus theta is minus cos theta. So here will be this minus minus plus. So we can add this as cos theta into n plus 2 upon n plus 2 and will also cancel. So basically this function f n will be cos pi upon n plus 2. So now we have our function fn which is cos pi upon n plus 2. Now the first part is f4. Now this f4 is cos pi by 6 and cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2. That means option A is correct. Now f6, f6 will be cos pi by 8 alpha is 10 of cos inverse f6 and cos inverse x is pi by 8. So it will be this 10 pi by 8 and 10 pi by 8 is simply root 2 minus 1. Now we take this one on the left hand side in square we get alpha square plus 1 plus 2 alpha will be equal to 2 or alpha square plus 2 alpha minus 1 equals 0 that means this option b is also correct. Now for this c we need to find f5 f5 is cos pi by 7 now sine 7 cos inverse f5 will be sin 7 pi and sin 7 pi is 0 that means option c is also correct and then this limit n tends to infinite fn will be this limit n tends to infinite cos pi upon n plus 2. Now this is cos 0 and cos 0 is 1. So option D is incorrect. So the correct options are A, B and C.